For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an FTP client such as FileZilla to upload files and do file transfers. First, I'm going to open my FileZilla client. And this is going to ask me on the top for the host. The host that I'm going to be using is ftp.wordpress.tutorialhub.com. I'm going to put in my username, which is admin at WordPress tutorialhub.com and my password and I'm going to click enter. Now once I've put this in once I can always click on my quick connect drop down and this will bring up all of these other sites that I've gone to and it will allow me to connect to them without having to put in the host username and password again. So here I am it says directory listing successful and over here I am on my FTP site. So to make this quick I'm going to take my WordPress tutorial hub.com XML page. I'm going to click it and drag it over and on the bottom it shows the queued files and how many transfers have been successful or failed. So you can see in successful transfers I was able to put this to the FTP file. And I'm going to minimize that screen and I'm going to go into my FTP accounts. Scrolling down so now I'm going to go into my file manager and I'm going to look up that XML. And you can see it is now in my public underscore HTML admin backslash WordPress tutorial hub folder. So in my public HTML, I'm going to go into my admin folder, and there it is. So now if I were to go into my WordPress tutorial hub.com administration page. I could go into tools, then into import, and there's the file that I needed. It says it was put in at 732, which is about one minute ago, and that's how I can quickly transfer files using FileZilla. So let me show you some other ways that we can go ahead and transfer files. I'm going to go into my Quick Connect box, and I'm going to go into my site but just using my regular account and using my quick connect box I went ahead clicked on the one that I want and now it's going ahead and connecting me. So I've gone in as the regular user of this account and when I did you can see that now in the remote site side is all of the files that are on my server. On my left side are all of the files that are in my own computer. So I'm going to just move some of these around so you can see what will happen when I choose some files. And up here it shows me my folders. So I'm going to go down to another drive, which is my drive that I use for these tutorials. I'm going to open a folder with documents that I want to put in here. I'm going to go down to the folder where I want to put them, which is in my public HTML, in my manually folder, and I can either click and drag an entire folder over, or I can open the folder and I can just click one file to drag. So I'm going to click and drag it over, or if I want more than one file, I'm either going to hit click and shift, or if I only want to pick a few files, control and command, and click what I want to make sure I don't get all of them in between. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag them over into this folder and let them go. And down here at the bottom you'll see that it had the queued files. It showed me their progress and once they were finished it went into successful transfers. If it hadn't worked it would have gone into failed transfers and I would have needed to find out why that didn't work. So the two files that I transferred over were the add on a domain link document. So let's go ahead into our file manager on our cPanel and make sure it's in there. So it was in the manually folder and it was the add-on domain link dot doc and there it is. So as you can see using an FTP client is really a lot faster than just going in and using the cPanel. So I hope this helped you out. Do a little experimentation with your FTP client and I think you'll be pretty happy with it. So thanks for listening and I'll see you at the next tutorial.